teaching B.Ed syllabus second semester. The question is explain the multiple intelligence theory proposed by Gardner. Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence. Gardner of Harvard has identified seven distinct intelligences. This theory has emerged from recent cognitive research and documents the extent to which students possess different kinds of minds and therefore learn, remember, perform and understand in different ways, according to Gardner in 1991. According to this theory, we are all able to know the world through language, logical, mathematical analysis, special representation, musical thinking, the use of the body to solve problems or to make things, an understanding of other individuals and an understanding of ourselves. Where individuals differ is in the strength of these intelligences, the so-called profile of intelligences and in the ways in which such intelligences are invoked and combined to carry out different tasks, solve diverse problems and progress in various domains. Gardner says that these differences challenge an educational system that assumes that everyone can learn the same materials in the same way and that a uniform, universal measure suffices to test student learning. Indeed, as currently constituted, our educational system is heavily biased toward linguistic modes of instruction and assessment and to a somewhat lesser degree toward logical quantitative modes as well. Gartner argues that a contrasting set of assumptions is more likely to be educationally effective. Students learn in ways that are identifiably distinctive. The broad spectrum of students and perhaps the society as a whole would be better served if disciplines could be presented in a number of ways and learning could be accessed through a variety of means. The learning styles are as follows. Howard Gardner has identified eight different types of intelligences that each individual has the capacity to possess. The idea of multiple intelligences is important because it allows for educators to identify differing strengths and weaknesses in students and also contradicts the idea that intelligence can be measured through IQ. In researching about gen genius, we found that Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences provides a great alternative to the popular measurable IQ method. He says first, visual special involves visual perception of the environment, the ability to create and manipulate mental images and the orientation of the body in space. Second, verbal or linguistic involves reading, writing, speaking and conversing in one's own or foreign languages. Third, logical or mathematical involves number and computing skills, recognizing patterns and relationships, timeliness and order, and the ability to solve different kinds of problems through logic. Fourth, bodily or kinesthetic involves physical coordination and dexterity using fine and gross motor skills and expressing oneself or learning through physical activities. Fifth, musical involves understanding and expressing oneself through music and rhythmic movements or dance or composing, playing or conducting music. Sixth, interpersonal involves understanding how to communicate with and understand other people and how to work collaboratively. Seventh, intrapersonal involves understanding one's inner world of emotions and thoughts and growing in the ability to control them and work with them consciously. Eighth, naturalist involves understanding the natural world of plants and animals, noticing their characteristics and characterizing them. It generally involves keen observation and the ability to classify other things as well. Multiple intelligences is a psychological theory about the mind. It's a critique of the notion that there's a single intelligence which we're born with, which can't be changed and which psychologists can measure. 
It's based on a lot of scientific research in fields ranging from psychology to anthropology to biology. It's not based upon based on test correlations which most other intelligence theories are based on. The claim is that there are at least eight different human intelligences. Most intelligence tests look at language or logic or both. Those are just two of the intelligences. The other six are musical, special, bodily or kinesthetic, interpersonal, intrapersonal and naturalist. I make two claims. The first claim is that all human beings have all of these intelligences. It's part of our species definition. The second claim is that both because of our genetics and our environment, no two people have exactly the same profile of intelligences, not even identical twins because their experiences are different.